Um, those guys are still on the couch. Gotta be quiet. A little bit sleepy. Oh crap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the heck just happened? this guy up. Oh, man. I took 
cut Jenny. <laughs> I'm seconds away from talking to her. Oh well. <laughs> this is what happens when you're tired. This is a laugh. Good laugh. Whatever. No way. Feels so bad. Wait a second. Oh, she's there too. Everybody's scared of me. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. A second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our intellicams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is, we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power, who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra, this is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, 
She will. Oh, yep. I think I'll stop here. Maybe because, you know, Adam's having a bad day. Megan's gone. Uh, Jenny's gone. <laughs> Considering I just blew her up, right? Well, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time. I'm going to save this, and ta-ta. <laughs>